hi guys how are you welcome back to my channel my name is monique and today's video is going to be a reveal video one of my friends just recently visited me from new york and and i've been shopping a little bit online and on the sample sale um in new york through a friend um so one of the items that i purchased were from fashion file and i would like to reveal it to you i actually i think purchased it like months ago maybe six months ago we will check the date on the invoice which i cannot remember it's a reveal because i actually have worn it once and so yeah here is the uh, dust bag from fashion file as you are probably already familiar with there was no box because you know it will take too much space so to reveal you what's inside you what's inside is the same old thing that you get from fashion file i thank you and i think this is the receipt i just want to see uh, when i actually purchased this item It's April 2019, which is actually, I think, purchased three months prior to April because I did the three months layaway. For those of you who don't know, uh, Fashion File, you can do a layaways after the item has been on the site for five days. So you can do a, like a three month layaway, which is really, really, um, it's something that I put to use almost every time if I purchase something from them okay so the same thing shop sell repeat cash for your bag um, you can always sell back your bag within the three um months of purchase so this is not valid anymore for this bag of course so you can see it's a brown bag and to reveal to you it's a celine bag and i must um this is an old Celine bag. By old Celine bag, I mean this is the Phoebe Philo uh, era of Celine, which is my favorite era of Celine bag. And this is a shoulder bag in a beautiful um, brown leather. And it's smooth um, leather, which is very, very prone to scratches. Uh, I actually scratched it already here. I don't know if you can see that but yes this is purchased to be worn by me here i want a bag that is very subtle and not in your face and it doesn't tell you what um what the brand is because it could be like it could be any bag right this could be from the row it could be from celine it could be from any other brand and you wouldn't even know what it is because it's not in your face okay so what is the name of this bag actually uh, not sure what the actual name is, but it was listed as Celine Natural Capskin Medium Hobo Tan, and it was. Some of you are interested in knowing the price. Um, this is just for information, but this was purchased at the price of six hundred and twenty-five dollars, which is kind of a great deal considering what it is. Because of course, you know. I think retail wise this is probably around 2000 or if not more so it is open closure it doesn't have any zipper but it has a compartment in the middle that has a zipper oh, I have my um, watch pouch in there as you can see I have worn it so it has these um, compartment in the middle that has a zipper which is great for your um, bag I mean, which is great for your wallet and any other valuable items. So I have worn this once uh, for like the period of two days when we went to Mount Kenya. So we went there for a night. So I was using this bag. Um, this bag, because of its shape and because of the smooth calfskin, it doesn't really fit a lot of things. Uh, it is more on a flat side. So this is just for like your wallet and your everyday necessity but not really i wouldn't uh suggest um i don't think i would be like stuffing it to the brim and anyway nowadays i don't really uh carry a lot of things with me so yeah hardware goes like this 
stay Celine there. So what is um what great about this bag is that this is a cross. This is a shoulder bag like this, and it's so chic. It reminds me of Jackie Kennedy. He she used to wear that Gucci hobo, uh, the Jackie hobo, and what you could do is that you can um, make the strap longer by doing so and voila it is a cross body bag <laughs> can't really show you right now because i can't stand but this is the length of it as a cross body bag over here so very very useful bag it reminds me worn like this it reminds me of the Hermes Evelyn, which is also a crossbody bag similar to this shape. Overall, I'm very happy with the purchase and I'm so excited to have it to finally have it with me here. The reason I did not ship it here is that I don't really trust international shipping for something that is over 50 or 100 dollars. I don't want to risk it being lost in transport or me having to pay crazy tax. Yeah, so that's why I just waited until my friend came here or I, or if whenever I go to New York, I'll pick it up. I am definitely in love with that bag and the functionality and um, how it is so um, understated in a way. And I would love to have it actually in another color, black possibly if I can find it in the future in a reasonable price but ingrained leather as a shoulder bag I feel like it tends to get scratched easily especially if it's worn as a crossbody bag so that is that is it my reveal um for today I hope you enjoy this uh reveal and um yeah I think so far for now fashion file is still my favorite in terms of getting a pre-owned bag i don't actually ever purchase a pre-owned bag from the real real just because their their pictures tend to be not great and if i'm just buying it online and i can't see the item for months um i wouldn't be able to return it once i see it and see things that i don't like also because the real real has so many items there's been some prop so there's been a lot of cases people being not satisfied with what they're getting so i've in terms of handbags i think a fashion file is still the best for me so far i hope you enjoyed today's video and don't forget to click subscribe if you haven't already i would really appreciate it if you do and let me know in the comment section down below what kind of videos that you would like to see from me in the future don't forget to check out my vlogs i will link it down below and yeah i hope you have a great day and I will see you again on my next one. Bye.